You know, this Adam Cole thing is interesting because, like, Adam Cole is great, and he's beloved, and he's a great worker, and he's young. He's like 30 or something like that. And, uh, you know, you look at the guy and you think, this guy could be the next AEW champion. But then you think about it, and it's like, well, obviously he's not going to get the shot in May because they're either doing a four-way or they're doing whatever they're going to do. And I don't think that MGF is is losing, you know, probably till 2024. So that would mean that he's not going to be winning over, uh, you know, September, early September, there, uh, that was all all out. Yes. So then you got, yeah. You know, then then it's sort of like, okay, well, is he not going to be the guy to beat MJF? Is he going to be the uh, is he going to be the all out opponent who loses? Uh, who is going to beat MJF? Damn, Brian. is it going to be Hangman? Shoot. Are they are they just going to build this thing up for like a year before he finally goes in to beat MJF? I got a lot of questions. Throttle your your motor there, homie. Just relax a little bit. All right. What are you talking about? The show where Adam Cole is going to be an even bigger baby face than he was before has not even aired yet. And as you mentioned, we are leading into MJF against right now. I want to say the rest of his pillars, but at least one pillar. And if it is the rest of his pillars the next time out, then one of those pillars maybe gets a one-on-one feud for a while. All the while in the, the background, the same stuff that's been happening. You've seen MJF and Britt Baker snipe at each other. You've seen Cole and, and MJF snipe at each other. Relax. They'll get there. And you know what? I don't think all out. Why do you have to wait on beating MJF till 2024? He's not Roman Reigns. If the timing is right at all out for Adam Cole to win the title, we got enough time where they can maneuver where Adam Cole can win that title. Man, can everyone clip this for a year from now? But Mike is going, holy smokes, can we get to this Adam Cole match already? That's my point. Mike Sempervivi here with you for the next hour talking professional wrestling, which is something we do every single day here on this program. What kind of mustache did Vince McMahon have? Well, goddamn! If you had questions about my mustache, you just had to ask! My God, Vince, is that you? Hell yeah, it's me! What are you doing in my chair, kid? Yeah, yeah no, listen, I'm here, everybody, for a moment. You are. Because I know the only thing that anybody cares about is this stupid mustache story. I get a text. He's back, LOL. First, I was told he was snuck into the building. I started getting messages. Dude, he's got a mustache. You ever seen uh, uh, Gomez Adams from the Adams Family? That's what his mustache looked like. And he also had jet black hair. <laughs> I got a sale to facilitate, so I'm out of here. Shave that thing. Oh my God. Wrestling Observer Live. I went to Rite Aid. Oh, no. And uh, they had, uh, I don't know, that. I think it was by L'Oreal or something like just, that. Just for men. This right. is apparently not to be used to color all of your hair black. Uh-huh. So I got home, and I just... I start running the water through my hair, and, like, I can't even get my fingers through my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I washed my hair like seven, eight times. Until it fell out? Finally, I was like, dude, I got to cut my hair off. This stuff is not coming out. <laughs> I thought I was so clever making fun of him and spoofing his mustache and dyeing my hair black and going in there looking like Vincent Price. And what happens in the end? I end up having to shave my head because of this guy. I think Vince watches this show every week. He goes into the archives. He watches the retro raw. He follows along with us. Okay. And he was watching this show, and he saw old Burt Reynolds. Man, he saw Ron and Sheer marking out for this guy, and he was like, that's the secret, a mustache. And he went out and got a blonde with big boobs. I don't know about that one. Oh. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.